Hello. Well, today I thought I would go back to sort of normal routine of talking about movies uh, every week. Um, <clears throat> but it was fun to talk about a whole bunch of stuff uh, uh, for like the uh, last three weeks or so, or every other day in the week. But today I thought I would just sort of briefly talk about... Uh, to Have and Have Not, a uh, very uh, classic movie, and um, from what I have heard overall, uh, a lot was changed with this. The book was originally set in Cuba, but because of certain policies had, um, it could not be, uh, the movie could not be set in Cuba because of certain things like corruption and other things going on because like a good faith uh, sort of uh, act going on or bill. So instead, they uh, decided to uh, have the movie take place in Martin Q. Martin Q, I believe. Um, and from there, a budget characters changed, and as a result of a result of a bunch of changes. The movie sort of resembles Casablanca. So, um, yeah. Um, and uh, there is a French uh, resistant uh, fighter who is uh, trying to get out of here, but, uh, you know, sort of stuck. And uh, there's a like, Boat captain named uh, Harry Morgan, played by Humphrey Bogart, and uh, uh, a drunk named Eddie, uh, played by Walter Brennan, is like his, I guess, kind of like right hand man, basically. And throughout the movie, you know, he, Bogart's character is just trying to get money and maybe even just get out of there, but he then meets uh, this woman. Uh, named Marie, who was played by Lauren Bacall. And this is the very first of four movies that uh, Bogart and Bacall made together. Um, this movie's directed by Howard Hawks. And it's a very, uh, you know, a very good film overall. Uh, you know, even with uh, the Casablanca, you know, uh, similarities um the but the chemistry between Bacall and uh, Bogart is really good obviously they have got married afterwards but um until then you know this the, the, you know the chemistry was just very good from the be beginning and um it's really cool just to hear about the behind the scenes and just how apparently Howard Hawks wanted to have something with Bacall, but she and Bogart got together, and so he decided to have, like, an affair with Doris Moran, who was a woman who was going to have more of a screen presence, but because of Bacall and the presence she had, they decided to have her, uh, you know, have more of a thing with uh, Bogart's character. And so uh, nothing happens between the wife of the resistance leader and Bogart's character in this movie. Although it's obvious if she wants something to happen, but nothing does. Um, and there is, it takes place in a, like a bar, in a hotel, or a bar, uh, though that is also doubles like as a hotel of sorts. Um, but this movie really is... Um, you know, it's just very unique in its own way. You know, there are similarities, but there are some differences. You know, obviously, they're on a boat and just getting people there, you know, a little more personally while Bogart's for Bogart's character than, say, Casablanca. It's just really a, it's a fantastic movie. Um, all the way around, I don't know. It's like there's just, it's just a, just well done and well told you know, no matter what the movie looks like uh, to some, you know, it's 
very significant in movie history just for it just the fact that Bogart and Bacall met on this movie you know and he uh you know she was just 19 years old when the movie came out uh you know uh so uh from the beginning she was really talented you know she had done stage work beforehand but you know did modeling but now she's <laughs> Uh, famous actress with one of the world's most famous actors and I guess you could say the rest is history um, it's really something that's not too uh, often brought up with Bogart's career other than you know it's where he met his future wife but for the movie itself, it's very good. Um, you know, there's drama, some, uh, you know, romance, obviously. and Basically, what you could say about Casablanca would apply to this movie. Um, but it is, it's, it's, it has its own unique uh, sort of style, in a way, if that makes sense. It's just... It, it, it just told very, it's just very unique. I don't know. It's just it's one of those movies that's just kind of hard to explain what I mean, but it's, it's just very good, you know, and I don't want to just overall repeat what I've said with Casablanca, because I'm sure if I go sort of point by point, it would be kind of, you know, just uh, sound similar even though you know point out certain differences of some kind you know some people might say this movie is not as good or perhaps might not be good because of the comparisons and similarities to Casablanca um, but the chemistry between Bogart and uh, Bacall was really good obviously you know Bogart and um Ingrid Bergman she you know their chemistry was fantastic too but the chemistry between these two is very unique um Walter Brennan is really uh, fantastic you know sort of like a substitute for Claude Rains's character I guess to keep that comparison comparison going um but in the end he gets with the woman Whereas with Casablanca, he doesn't because, you know, she needs to be with the husband. And in this film, uh, characters of Bogart and Bacall are not married. So they end up together as opposed to, and he doesn't really do anything to the woman with who is with the resistance uh, leader, basically. So... You know, it's it's a very good film. You know, at the end, it's just it's very satisfying to see everything play out, and uh, it's just really cool just to see how uh, one of the most uh, famous couples in the in movie history, you know, got together. Um, you can see it unfold, and you can see certain trademarks of Bacall that would become trademarks, like the kind of like head down and looking up with her eyes, uh, she did that because she was nervous, like, on the first day, and, um, you know, that was a way for her to sort of hide how nervous she was, so it's kind of cool to see something like that just become sort of like a look, and, uh, it's definitely a movie that is a classic, perhaps it won't rank as high as a Casablanca, let's say, or the Maltese Falcon. But it's definitely a film I think is that, uh, worth watching. You know, if you haven't seen it before, it is definitely worth a watch. If you have seen it, I think it's worth watching again. I got this uh, in one of the last, which I should have had in one of the last uh, sort of... Uh, of showing what new movies I got and all, but, you know, there's 
quite a bit last time and I kind of forgot, but you know, maybe in the next video I'll just showcase it again, just be like, hey, I got this also some time ago, but I don't know when that would be, but I don't have the other three movies that um, uh, they did together, but um, I've seen them all. My mom actually ha has all of them, so I might go and borrow those just to rewatch them because, you know, Humphrey Bogart was a excellent actor and uh, McCall was an excellent actress and everybody in this was fantastic. You know, uh, Walter Brennan, of course, also. Doris Moran, uh, Hoagie Carmichael, and just everybody in, in this did a fantastic job. Um, Howard Hawks is a very talented man, and uh, I haven't really talked too much about his movies in the past. Um, I know he, uh, like, you know, like produced the original Scarface, which I haven't talked about, so <laughs> I might have to do that at some point. But um, yeah, this is definitely a good film. Um, if you're into old uh, classic films, you like Humphrey Bogart, Lauren Bacall, anyone involved with this movie, like the names I've mentioned, and you haven't seen it, it is definitely worth a watch. And if you have seen it before, I think it's worth uh, re-watching. You know, it's been some years since I've watched this, so it was kind of cool to uh, re-watch it. And of course, seeing the similarities between Casablanca was very obvious and so it's quite interesting just to see the reasons why you know they made the changes they did and apparently this was according to like I believe uh, Howard Hawks the worst uh, uh, Ernest Hemingway novel because I, I guess it was about like like rum smugglers and corruption and people getting killed and all that stuff so it's quite interesting, um, for sure. Um, you know, a lot of questions of whose allegiance are you with? Uh, the French or the Germans or what? And so, obviously, that kind of conflict is also, of course, in Casablanca. And having seen Casablanca again on the big screen uh, this year, because they're doing that a lot for the 100th anniversary of... Uh, you know, uh, Warner Brothers. So a lot of their old films are being re released in theaters for a while, which is cool. But yeah, this is a good film. Uh, I enjoy it. Um, may not be my favorite uh, Bogart film, but you know, I don't know what that would be. I think it might be Casablanca or Maltese Falcon. And due to the fact that I've seen Casablanca uh, fairly recently, I might go there. But again, I I don't want to just outright say that is the, the uh, case. Because <laughs> uh, go rewatch uh, The Maltese Falcon and I think that is the, uh, uh, the better movie. Uh, but they're very neck and neck. Um, I don't know. But this is a good film, too. I really enjoy it. Um, uh, just overall, uh, well-made movie. And it's really cool for the extras, you know, the call to arms. Like a, sort of a, from 1946. So, you know, some like a little, something made back then where, uh, about back the introduction to Bacall, um, Vincent's uh, vintage Mary Melody short, so it was you know, a cartoon like uh, like Looney Tunes, love story, the story to the have and have not, uh, which details the brief uh, like making of uh, this film, as well as the love story of Bogart and Bacall. Though I'm a uh, 
I'm also guessing on the Call to Arms because I actually had not rewatched that. I just wanted to watch the uh, sort of making of uh, featurette. Um, but I've seen stuff like that that for uh, Casablanca and um, pretty sure Maltese Falcon have stuff for around the time the movies came out. They have something there. I believe also Lawrence of Arabia had something kind of like that when that came out so on the blu-ray so stuff like that gets put on these uh like blu-rays and also perhaps dvds like sort of like special edition dvds and for blu-ray and of course 4k blu-ray and there's the lux radio broadcast starring bogart and mccall as well as the trailer so i have to uh check out that broadcast but uh sorry i can't really tell you too much about the overall blu-ray like special features but the presentation's good the picture and sound quality is excellent really good so uh probably find this at a pretty decent price it's been out for years uh 2016 so yeah pretty good uh release from uh, Warner Archive, you know, the Archive Collection, as it says. And, uh, that's really it, uh, for what I have to say about this movie. It's very good, regardless of whatever, uh, comparisons to Casablanca uh, are there and you can make. 100 minutes, so not bad at all. Not a bad length. Um, and, uh, yeah good film overall so uh i hope all of you are doing well hope you're all having a great day you all have a great week and i'll see you all next time